Noise levels inside general aviation aircraft are loud. In a Cessna 172, for example, noise levels during the cruise phase of flight average 95 decibels. It is under these conditions that pilots are required to communicate with both air traffic control and other pilots. In order to communicate, pilots use aviation headsets. These can be of two types, passive noise attenuation headsets or active noise attenuation headsets. Passive noise attenuation headsets have tight fitting cups that seal around the ear. Active noise attenuation headsets, otherwise known as noise cancelling headsets, attempt to reduce the noise in the ear canal by producing a sound that is 180 degrees out of phase with the original sound source so that the combination leads to a cancellation of the noise. Active noise attenuation is more effective in the lower frequencies of sound, whereas passive noise attenuation is more effective in the higher frequencies of sound. The aim of the present research was to examine the effectiveness of active noise attenuation headsets in improving individuals' performance in terms of communication in the presence of noise typical of that experienced in a general aviation aircraft. 32 participants were recruited for the study. 22 participants held a formal pilot license. Half of the participants were non-native English speakers. Participants completed two communication tasks in noise at 95 decibels. The first task involved reading back monosyllabic phonically balanced words such as jump or wood. The second task involved recalling aviation specific words that were presented in an aviation phrase such as the word Mike in the following phrase. Mike India Charlie cleared for takeoff track 240 report passing 3000. The results revealed that the recall performance was superior with the use of active noise attenuation headsets. Native English speakers were also able to recall more words than the non-native English speakers. When recall performance was compared between pilots and the non-pilots, there was no differences with the monosyllabic words. As expected, pilots record more aviation-specific words than non-pilots. Active noise attenuation headsets did, however, improve the recall of aviation-specific words with the non-native English-speaking participants who were not pilots. This research was conducted by Raymond Jang, Brett Molesworth, Marion Burgess and Dominic Esteval. A write-up of this research can be found in the journal titled Safety Science.